It's possible to treat the ECOA spreadsheet like a personal budget. When we treat the ECOA spreadsheet like a personal budget, we may want to make some changes. In the disbursement section, we would look at the items and take out the ones that don't apply to our personal budget. In our personal budget, we may have some credit cards to pay, so accounts payable may apply, supplies may apply, utilities. We'll take out, well, we may even have some long-term debt. So the important thing is, in our personal budget, is to put some realistic numbers. How much do we owe on our credit cards? Maybe it's $200 that I intend to pay in April. In the personal budget, supplies could be thought of as food. How about $200 or $220 for food? That's a pretty cheap rent. It may be closer to 1000 what about utilities? That's not a bad number. It looks like, for our personal budget, we're going to spend every month $1,520. What does that say for our receipts? Well, our cash received, which in the case of a personal budget, uh, really amounts to our salary, has to be large enough so that uh, it uh, is greater than our total disbursements. Well, if our total disbursements are 1520, what happens if we have $1600 in uh, cash received? Well, that means we have for the month of April a surplus of $80. This is a way that we can uh, use the business model as a tool so that we can look at personal budgeting and we can move back and forth between looking at personal budgeting and looking at the business. What about insurance? Well, when you're a young person starting out, you probably don't have any need for insurance. In fact, this is probably a pretty good profile for all of your expenses for a month. Let's see if we can extend this all the way to December. Uh, at least until January. Let's try one more to December. Okay, so that means that that looks like my profile from now until December. What about my total disbursements? Yeah, it looks like it's the same. If from now until December I plan to have the same salary or cash received, I can put that there. And of course the same sum of uh, all of the cash received, and that would mean if I calculate my monthly deficit, it'll be the same too. Well, this is a great start. And then I look at this particular cell, and I see that the opening cash balance in May is equal to the uh, opening cash balance in April plus any surplus. So I can extend this formula all the way to December, and it looks like if this is a true statement of my personal budget, then it looks like I'm doing okay. Uh, nothing in the bank in April should become $640 in May. Now, the trick will be to extend this into our business uh, cash flow in using the very same method. Let's give it a try.